much love and peace to go round. So much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. They say that when you empower a woman, you empower a nation because empowered women empower other women. Today we'll be having a conversation about women empowerment with someone who is very, very passionate about this. Her name is Ezine Eziani. She's the founder of She Can Nigeria, as well as the COO of MBR Signature. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. So, I, you know, it's a no-brainer to say why are, you, why are you passionate about women. You're a woman yourself, you know, but I'll just go straight to asking you. We're speaking, we're having conversations about gender equality every, every time. You know, we're speaking a lot more about gender equality. We know that it's number five on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. But the question is, how is Nigeria faring? Beyond the whole noise in social media, is it really translating to what, we, what we're expecting to see? You know, the kind of change we're expecting to see? Well, I would say yes, actually. Because um, for me, though, naturally, I am not an advocate for gender equality, but rather I'm an advocate for she can do more. Because when I know when women realize their innate potentials and are empowered to do more, then they'll be able to do more. Then the fact that because if we talk about gender equality and the women or the industries or the careers that are supposed to shape the way we live our lives, the future, you know, the future really and the women who are supposed to be actively involved in that future are not fully empowered, then there will be a gap. So for instance, you know, we have some organizations who are really big when it comes to how we live our lives. And we don't have a lot of women in those industries, speaking about the technology, speaking about engineering, speaking about aviation and all that. So until we have women who are really doing amazing in these industries, then we can talk about gender equality. So that means at the end of the day, you are still an advocate of gender equality <laughs> because that is what we're saying. We're saying that women should be given opportunities to do as much as these things and not be relegated to the back burner. Now let's talk about women empowerment. There are people who say that it's a free thrown around to just deceive and confuse people that in the actual sense people do conferences and do events about women empowerment but women really do not support women what's your take on that okay for me and for what we do in Shikan Nigeria is the fact that we believe so much that empowered women should empower women and that's why most times during our conferences what we do is we identify women who are doing amazing well in their various industries and we bring them on board to come speak to the generation next because our mantra is actually women empowered women empower women so most times in different industries what we do is we identify the high flyers there so for instance the first female urologist in Nigeria will be attending the conference and we know that there are just five and the, the other people just joined less than three years ago so if people don't look up to certain people they won't be able to do a whole lot and that's why for us what we do is we bring in the empowered women already to start empowering other women to start empowering the generation next only when we do that can we fill in that gap have you have you encountered any challenges or setbacks you know since you started embarking on this year your mission to empower other women what are some of the challenges and setbacks you say you'll have encountered okay most times you know when you want to for us what i would say that's the major challenge that we see most times is the fact that when you're trying to do because we believe that every woman can do more that's something we believe. So most times you find out that when we even go to speak to some people, some of them have the mindset or, oh, just leave it. It's either it's a man's word or it's a woman's word. It depends on the, the demography of the people we actually go to visit. So most times it's actually the mindset. And that's why we decided to attack the mindset. Because when the mindset is changed, when there is a paradigm shift in how a woman thinks, in how she sees herself out there, then she will be able to give. And then she'll be able to do more. Because for me, 
I don't think really that, the, like just going back to the gender equality thing, sometimes I have seen over the years being, you know, I first resigned as a HR manager. Now, one thing we understood is the fact that most times there will always be that leadership position. There will always be that opportunity. But women are not always hungry to go out there. I'm really glad that you mentioned this because yes. when we go to our next conversation, we're going to be joined by um, Edun Jobi and Yola, and she'll be sharing with us how women can shatter these so-called limitations and these so-called ceilings that yeah. have been placed there. Now, we know that you organize a yearly conference, but beyond the conference, what are some of the things you do to empower women? So you say you bring um, women first in their different fields yes. to be able to narrate their experiences yes. and encourage other women. What are some of the other things that you do? Part of what we do as well is we usually hold um, periodic trainings. We have mentoring sections. We have counseling sections. We have um, we have different uh, different programs that we do for different kinds of people. So we also have the skill acquisition program. But more majorly, what because we preach the fact that women can do more in certain industries that are male dominated. So we usually have the chic and code boot camp. In fact, we have another one starting in two weeks time in a particular community. We have identified talents there, and what we're doing is we're going to be training them on coding. Also, girls? yes, girls nice. will be doing that. So that's something we do. We identify. We're going to a community, we identify, we fill in the gap, and we have them empowered. All right, so we know that you have a conference coming up shortly, and it's a yes. free conference yes. for every woman for every to woman, attend. Yes. So what are the details of this conference? Okay, so it's happening June 21st at the Mosan Center. It is She Can Do More 2.0, and of course, every woman has to be there. Because right. there will be so many opportunities. Aside the fact that they're coming to listing, there will be opportunities for people looking for jobs because we have partnered with certain organizations who will be coming with their HR team. And on that day, people will have that opportunity. People will also have business opportunities. There are just a whole lot of benefits when you attend. So it's happening at the Muson Center when? June 21st, what 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you so much for this Thank work you that so I do. I'm very passionate Olivia. about women as well. Thank you. And the fact that we need to make life, you know, easier for each other. We need to make life better for each other. So if you know an auntie, a mother, a sister, a friend that needs to have more, you know, wants to do more with her life, she should be at the She Can Do More Conference 2.0 happening on the 21st of um, June. June at Muson Center, 9 a.m. Yes. How can people find out more information? information about this from our website they can register www.shikanigeria.com also just follow at Shika Nigeria for all the information that you would ever need all right at the end of the day Nigerians please do not take something that is free for granted because we know that sometimes <laughs> when it's free people are yeah but that's all we have for you now thank you so much thank you, for joining Olivia. us thank you so we to enjoy more of this our Ubunke videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page you go love her.